We know that you're an naturopathic doctor who treats a lot of patients with cancer. There's a new term now that's being more commonly used, naturopathic oncology. Can you first tell us what is naturopathic medicine and then maybe touch into naturopathic oncology, the idea of naturopathic oncology? Mm -hmm. Well, naturopathic medicine, first of all, is, is not a new profession. In the province of British Columbia, for example, uh, we've had our own act here in the government since the 1920s and we're licensed as primary care providers. So we have a similar legal responsibility as a medical doctor would. And uh, in the philosophy and training in naturopathic medicine, we are exposed to this really broad field of natural medicine philosophies and healing. And uh, for example, uh, we're trained in things such as traditional Chinese medicine, botanical herbal medicine, um, homeopathic medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, manipulative medicine, what a chiropractor, physiotherapist would do. We're trained in diet and lifestyle counseling. And we're also trained in the more conventional side or the more common side of medicine as well. So, and, and the, the general philosophy of naturopathic medicine is that we all have the ability to heal ourselves when given the opportunity to do so. For example, if you cut yourself on the hand, you, you don't bleed forever. It ends up stopping, you get a scab, and then uh, more skin tissue forms. And that's how the, the, the body is programmed to do in general. And so what you're trying to do in naturopathic medicine is trying to support the body, support its healing mechanisms, and at the same time removing obstacles that impede or slow down health. And um, so it's, it's a broad, broad or more holistic view in, in individualized healthcare. So now that um, we've kind of talked a little bit about naturopathic medicine, how does naturopathic oncology fit into the picture of naturopathic medicine? Well, naturopathic oncology is a newer term, and, and there's, a, there's an emerging organization called the Oncology Association of Naturopathic Physicians that is attempting to standardize this field. But what it basically is, is applying the principles of naturopathic medicine and naturopathic philosophy into patients with cancer. And so the ultimate goal, of course, is to enhance survival and improve quality of life and to safely incorporate and integrate into standard cancer uh, therapeutics and you know, cancer treatments. Um, for example, you know, there are a lot of patients that, you know, use a um, complementary alternative type of care and they're not being guided properly or they're not being supervised properly. Uh, the medical community is not really trained in that field of complementary alternative medical care. Naturopathic doctors are trained in that, in that fields of medicine right from the very beginning of our training. So in naturopathic oncology, we're trying to assist in that whole kind of confusion, trying to properly uh, guide patients into a more safe but yet effective form of treatment program. So we have, a, say, a cancer patient who have seen their oncologist and they are right now being actively treated by their oncologist, why do you think should they take a look at what naturopathic oncology has to offer? Well, for example, there's many questions that go to a patient's minds. A, how will I respond to my treatment? Uh, what are the statistics for my treatment? Uh, how will I tolerate, say, my, my standard types of care? So, well, how about the side effects? And then how about, say, uh, after treatments are done, you know, what can I do to help recover? Uh, and say, uh, for those that have responded well, I want to make sure that this cancer never came back. Because the, the, one of the, the, the things with standard care is they mostly address the, 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 the symptoms of the disease, but they don't address the root cause. And so in naturopathic oncology, you can assist patients in all these types of situations and trying to help them to uh, minimize toxicities, enhance responses, and trying to minimize recurrence. And, and the thing though is that this idea doesn't have to be complicated. For example, there's been some research, say, in breast cancer where um, simply for a patient who moves around more, um, say walking three to five hours a week, helps them, helps them to live longer with their cancer. And these with, with early stage cancers and more advanced stage cancers. Now, I have yet to read a, a, a medical oncology report state where they should be incorporating, say, physical activity in their breast cancer treatment program. 
And so these are the areas where um, naturopathic doctors can really help to bridge. But at the same time, because we're trained in standard care, in standard medical care, and naturopathic oncology, you tend to be quite familiar with in the, in the treatment of cancer. You can safely bridge into that framework without, to, without uh, creating complications, without uh, creating um, certain adverse types of situations and uh, so that you have the best um, objective for the, the, the patient in general.